the Museum of Antiquities of Turin, or Archaeological Museum, was created in 1940 with the separation of the Egyptian collections, which formed the basis of the current Egyptian Museum, and the Greco, Roman ones of the then Royal Museum of Greco-Roman Antiquities and Egyptians collected by the Savoy starting from the 16th century. It also preserves numerous testimonies of ancient Piedmont, with the rooms dedicated to the history of Turin overlooking the remains of the Roman theatre. In 2016 the Royal Museums of Turin complex, which includes the Royal Palace, the Galleria Sabata, the Royal Armory and the Museum of Antiquities, was the 22nd most visited Italian state site, with 314,195 visitors. The first collection of antiquities is due to Duke Emanuele Filibergo I of Savoy who in 1572 concentrated his collections of antiquities in the Tuchel Theatre, with a library and a museum. His successor Carlo Emanuele I expanded the original collection with objects from Piedmont and the Savoy States, and relocated the most valuable part of it to the new art gallery, completed in 1608. In 1658 this gallery was destroyed by a serious fire, and the part of the objects that had been saved were transferred to the new gallery built by Carlo Emanuele II, which was destroyed again by a new fire in 1811. All that remains of that collection is a summary inventory, drawn up in 1631. There is no important information about the collections not housed in the aforementioned buildings until the mid-17th century, when Vittorio Amadeo II ordered their reorganization, also commissioning Scipione Maffei in 1723 to arrange the tombstones from the bastion of the Consolata, demolished the previous year. These objects, together with new acquisitions from private collections, archaeological excavations, and collections donated by the king, found a place in the courtyard of the Palace of the Royal University, where they were still found at the time of the Napoleonic invasion and from where they were taken by the French, who they returned only a part after the fall of the empire in 1815. In 1832 it was decided to reunite the collections of antiquities in the Palace of the Academy of Sciences, where the Egyptian collections of Bernardino Drobiti, purchased by King Carlo Felis, had already been located since 1824. Thus a single museum of antiquities was created, also including New Greco, Roman acquisitions, the collection of finds from Magna Graecia sold by Luigi Moschini and the objects found in the excavations carried out in Piedmont in that period. The collection grew further in the mid-19th century with the acquisition of Etruscan and Cypriot finds made during the direction of Ariodante Favoriti. In 1940 it was decided to separate the Egyptian collection from the others, in order to enhance it more. This was done to the detriment of the other collections, which were found in a space too small to allow them to be fully displayed. In 1948, a permanent exhibition was created on the ground floor of the Palace of the Academy of Sciences, with only the most valuable pieces on display, while the others were stored in adjacent rooms available only to scholars. Since the 70s, the collections have been placed in the greenhouses in the gardens of the Royal Palace, whose spaces were adapted to the function of a museum, allowing them to reopen in 1989. In the 90s, today's configuration was reached, with the connection of the greenhouses to the so-called Manikin Wova, also called Manikalunga, of Palazzo Reale. In 2012 the Sabata Gallery was transferred to Manikin Wova. A new collection with Turin archaeological materials was therefore created in the rooms in the basement and the Archaeology in Turin exhibition was inaugurated in May 2013.